What are you doing? I just wanted you to see the entries I made in the tumble drive file. Is everything in code? Yeah. You see, this first line here is where the money came from that's to be laundered. The second line is the amount of money that's to be laundered. The third line is how the money was brought into Fort Charles. The fourth line is the company where the money has been made legitimate. And the fifth line is the date. I'm very impressed, Duke. I want a copy of those file entries from Mr. B. I'll make sure you get a printout. The code is simple. Roman numerals for the 26 letters of the alphabet. So VI would stand for the sixth letter? F. As in Freeport. Right. I just wanted you to see that everything is in control here. I still have my doubts about your bookkeeper. Felicia? Yeah. You don't have to worry about her. She uses the computer for legit floppy disks. And she can't get access to tumble dry? No, I store the tumble dry on the hard disk in the computer. And you can only get access with the code. I've seen her in here using your computer. Well, a computer is done, yes. But you can only get access to the information using the code word. Laundry. Yeah. I mean, this word to Felicia in relation to her work as my bookkeeper. What if she walks in here when you've already got the, the information up on the screen? I make sure she's out of the office before I access the file. Where is she now? Lunch. I'll have tuna salad on wheat bread and uh -huh, That is uh, extra pickles and heavy on the mail, right? Yeah, that's the way I like it. How about you, handsome? Cheeseburger and fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything to drink? Yeah, uh, give me a beer, will you? Okay, baby. Uh, where's Ruby? Oh, she uh, had to go into New York. It's shopping day. She wanted to pick up a few things. I'll get started on this order. Why are you drinking so early in the day? Well, I'm unemployed, sweetheart. Don't you know that's the prerogative of the unemployed to drink at lunch if they feel like it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rub it in. I know how frustrated you are about the suspension. That's putting it mildly. I'll cancel the beer if it upsets you. I don't need it. It's not going to be for that much longer, Frisco. And, and, and we're not going to miss the money from all your paychecks. It's okay. It's not just the money, sweetheart. It's the investigation. I just don't feel it's going anywhere. Just give it time. Everything's going to fit into place before you know it. I know that the computer printout you brought home from Duke's means something. I just can't figure out what. I wish I could help. Yeah, I can't find out what tumble dry means. I'm serious, Mr. There must be something I can do. Honey, you have done enough already. I really. thought we were supposed to be partners. Now, don't start with the partners thing again. We're We've married. talked about... We're supposed to share these kind of things. And don't leave me out of the harsh realities of this job. Don't try to protect me. Sharing things is not the problem here, sweetheart. But I think I can do my job my own way and by myself. Oh, I'm sure you can. But don't you think it'd be a lot easier if you could get information out of Duke's computer? Yeah, it might help a little. Well, let me do it for you. No. You gotta find another way. I don't want to put you in danger. Now, if you can help me, you just have to find a different angle. Okay. Okay. Maybe there is a way that I can help. Oh, I'm afraid to ask. I'm going to talk to Duke about you. Oh, and you consider that a favor? Maybe he can get you a job on the waterfront. Frisco, it could give you something to do until the suspension is all over with. <sighs> Well, I do have my dock workers union covered. All right, and he's the president, and he can get you places. We could use the extra money, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of money, I have to get back to work. I'll let you know what he says, okay? Um, thanks, honey. Okay. Uh, sweetheart. Yes. Would you happen to have, uh, like, five bucks on you? I could borrow them a little short. Just don't spend it on one piece. I hate borrowing money from you. It's okay, we're partners. Don't forget it. I've heard that before, sweetheart. 
Well, if it bothers you, find someone else to get your pocket money from, like maybe Anna Devane. Bye-bye. You've got nothing to worry about, Damon. Fisherman's Village will make millions when it's a reality. You must have pulled quite a number on the Waterfront Revitalization Committee, huh? Yeah, well, most of them seem to like me well enough. Including Anna Devane? My relationship with Miss Devane is separate from the rest of my business. I'm not asking you to kiss and tell, Lavery. I just want to make sure you've got her under control, that's all. You forget about Anna. She won't be a problem. Come in. Well, excuse me for interrupting, but um, I wanted to tell you that I was back for lunch. Oh, thank you, Felicia. If there's anything I need, I'll, I'll let you know. Is this a bad time to ask you something? No, it's all right. Go ahead, Les. What is it? It's a favor. I hope you don't mind, but it's about Frisco. At the moment, he's out of work, and he's trying to get some work down on the docks until he's not suspended from the police department anymore. Uh, in fact, he's down there right now trying to dig up a job. And you want me to know if I could use my influence to help him? Oh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble. No, it would be my pleasure. Well, of course, I can't make any promises, but, well, let me make a few calls and I'll see if I can come up with something. Oh, I'd really appreciate it. In fact, I have a meeting this afternoon with the, the union steward. I'll be sure to mention Frisco's name. Well, he's a member of the union. Maybe that would help. No, look at her. The union does take care of his own. Well, he'll really be doing us a favor. Frisco's having a tough time right now with the suspension, and if he gets a job down there, it might really help build him up a little bit. Well, I'll let you know if I come up with something. Okay, thank you. Well, I'd better get back to work. Okay. You out of your mind? Not that I know of. Why? Why did you agree to get that nosy rookie a job down on the docks? Because I don't intend to do it. Then why did you tell her that you would? Because it would have looked very suspicious if I'd refused. Well, I suppose you're right. You will discover about me, Damon. I'm right about most things, especially my own affairs. Where are you going? Well, I'm going down to the docks to make sure we're not paying Frisco to snoop around. Would you care to join me, perhaps? No, I have a call from New York coming in on your private line any time now. Well, you suit yourself. Oh, I didn't expect to see you, you here, Mr. Grenville. Uh, are you always in the habit of entering Mr. Lavery's office without knocking, Felicia? Well, Duke was out, and uh, I didn't knock because I didn't expect to see somebody here. Oh, well, I'm waiting for a very important phone call. Can I help you with anything? Oh, yeah, I have to use Duke's computer. What's the matter with your own terminal? Well, it's been down. It's been down all day. Mm, that happens a lot, huh? Yeah. yeah. I think it might have something to do with the, the moisture in the air. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Maybe you should call a repairman. I did, and he said he won't be able to come until tomorrow. So I need to use Duke's computer and get some of these bank entries into his system. Right? Well, look, if it wouldn't be too much trouble for you to come back a little later, uh, my call is due any second now, and once that printer starts going, I won't be able to hear a thing. Okay, well, I'll just be at my desk. You let me know when, okay? Will do. All right. Do uh, you know when Duke's going to be back? No. Why? I was just anxious to hear if he was able to pull some strings for Frisco and get him a job down in the docks. Hey, it's the line for work? Well, it ain't the line for win, place, or show tickets, pal. <laughs> no lot of guys standing in line here. How long you been here? Oh, off and on for about three weeks. Haven't got any work? A day here and a day there. Hmm. That's surprising. I mean, with the whole redevelopment thing down at the waterfront, you think there'd be more open jobs, huh? Well, the union promises jobs. We got Duke Lavery looking after us. He's the best. Yeah, yeah, I heard about him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You really know how to make a girl feel good. What are you doing, huh? Looking for a